the real food of Phuket is actually really hard to find unless you know what you're looking for. Now I've started here at the beach, which is what you would expect, but most of the food in this video is not what you'd expect. Ooh, wow, so good. Well, I've come here to Nayang Beach and it's a very local market and I've made my own breakfast buffet. First of all, we have Dog Mulsap. Uh, this is a rice porridge that you can find all over Thailand. Yum. The other thing that I always, always, always love in Thailand is Kanom Jin. There's like a sauce that's made out of ground fish and like spicy, yummy things. Now, of course, because it's breakfast time, I have my beverages. It's the Thai tea. I love the flavor of Thai tea. It's almost got like a little bit of a, a vanilla kind of hint to it. It's always ridiculously sweet. <laughs> I'm not sure what this one is called, but Gao, he's like my local tour guide. Gao has been working with me forever. And he's actually from Phuket, so he's gonna take us on this Phuket journey. What, what's it called again? Oh, you don't even know I what it's know. called. I don't know, <laughs> he but doesn't. I love it. Look out for the green guy on the counter. Oh, yeah. Inside is like a sweet mung bean paste. Phuket mochi. I like it. This blue one here is Saku. It's the same kind of like glutinous, sticky rice flour business, but there's like little tapioca pearls in there and some coconut as well. This one is called Giam Goi. It is basically like steamed rice flour. Mm, really good, that one. Last one, platter of skewers. This one here, Mo Bing. It's pork and there's like lots of bits of pork fat in there as well, which make it really juicy and tasty. It's so good. And then two different types of sausage. This one is called nam. It's like a fermented pork sausage. This one, say ua, is a pork sausage that has like a lot of chili paste and aromatics through it. It's just slightly spicy and porky and amazing. Oh my God. Now that's just breakfast. <laughs> So what I need to do now is hurry up and eat all of this breakfast because there are fishing boats coming in soon and then I'm gonna go haggle for some fish. So we're driving through Phuket town at the moment and I just love it because it's a really good place to actually find the real food of Phuket. There's really good local food here. Uh, there is the Chinese Malay influence that you have on both the food and also the architecture that you see. So I'm gonna take you to two noodle places which will show you just how much that influence permeates. I have literally never seen noodles prepared like this. This is amazing. And Gao's been eating here since he was a little boy. So he's gonna tell me what we should be ordering. Can I get a snack? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this smells so good. I'm gonna try the padmi first. These are the egg noodles, stir fried. The sauce is like the broth from the boiled pork. Oh, wow. The flavor of that wok hay, that smokiness is insane. It's porky, savory, salty, chewy noodles. Oh. The real mastery here is the uncle and his wok technique because it is everything in these dishes. Now let's try mi hang. So hang just means dry and it had that syrupy, porky kind of business that he poured on top. Oh my goodness, that's literally like fried pork skin that's been soaked in like this amazing kind of broth. That is incredible. And again, look at these noodles, like handmade. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. I would eat here every day. Wow, wow, wow. It's 
So this stall is famous for its hockey noodles, but it comes in two versions. This is the dry version, hang. This one also has shrimp, pork, wonton dumplings, peanuts, and this one is the soup version, so it has all the bits and pieces plus the soup as well. Look at this. Oh, it smells so good. Wow, there's some fried garlic in there as well. So the sauce is like salty and a little bit sweet. I love that Phuket has its very own kind of dishes and places, but they're just so undiscovered. Okay, I'm gonna get in here and try some soup. That is no word of a lie, like pure magic. It is porky and then like it has this beautiful peppery flavor it tastes really clean and lovely the balance of flavors is beautiful i love the shrimp flavor in here as well and you know what pork fat it's like literally a bowl of heaven ah oh, yum <laughs> The inside of the <laughs> okay, so I need to try the Miam Gong. I don't know if this is going to be good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> black that <laughs> black means kind of like weird <laughs> bit weird oh and now it's spicy it tastes exactly like tom yum soup oh wow like the more you have it the better it gets it really right? is yeah. it's like the more you have it the more you're like yeah i'll take another spoonful of that please this is fun So there's obviously no shortage of seafood restaurants in Phuket, right? But like the key is to find where the Thailand tourists go to eat their seafood. Now we're in Lam Hin and this is like on the eastern side of the island. So very local, as you can see, <laughs> not so salubrious, but the seafood will be amazing. First of all, we have to catch a boat. Okay, so you know how I said we were gonna like pick the fresh seafood? Well, I mean, it doesn't get any fresher than this. <laughs> so this is gonna be our lobster, isn't it? Nice one, gal. You got it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, team effort. Yeah. So pretty, look at the colors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect size. Ew. So after discussion with our lovely lady over here, we are going to steam the fish with chili and lime. We're gonna do this one grilled with butter and garlic. We're gonna do the crabs in what's called pat ponkali, which is basically like a stir fry curry sauce. I want to try some of this fish. So juicy and nice. Mm -mm, that tastes so fresh. And that sauce is just all tangy and limey. Just garlicky, slightly spicy, but not over the top. Oh, wow. That looks so good. And it's super soft because it's been perfectly cooked. I mean, oh my God. The love to meat itself is like melt in your mouth and the butter and the garlic, I'm literally dying. Okay, so the last one I wanna try, it's called Pat Bonkali, which I've talked about being a curry powder style of dish. You can kind of smell the yellow curry powder. Mm. It's really lovely and mild, but you get this really nice spicing throughout. Typically, they stir fry it with onion and also young celery as well, so you get a few of those aromatics in there as well. 
I've always loved this one. This is so good. Ah, that was so amazing. Kokolaka, aloe mark. <laughs> All right, Dax, are we ready to drink? <laughs> says I as I crawl into the boat. <laughs> Here we go. I swear I haven't started drinking yet. We're gonna go back to Phuket Town, hit some bars. That. is that we're gonna start the night with shots. <laughs> so the shots here apparently are really amazing, like otherworldly, like really cool. I'm so excited, I've never actually been before. So cool. We could probably go and drink some. Let's do it. <laughs> Boom. See ya. This is what's really cool to me. I think Phuket Town has so many of these cool bars. Like, there's amazing, cool little coffee shops, really cool little restaurants. I mean, this is this is me. <laughs> Holly, how she's feeling. Uh, <laughs> I'm good, just fragile. <laughs> We're also incredibly hungover, so I feel like that's the perfect time to eat dim sum for breakfast. I am genuinely excited about this place because this is dim sum, but it's like Southern Thai style. Everyone comes here for breakfast, all the locals, and there's this really spicy dipping sauce, which apparently they're famous for. So I'm into that, let's do it. So this is all amazing, not just because it looks really delicious, but also because like nothing here is more than say like 60 cents, 10 cents, like eight cents, 60 cents. It's just amazing. But the other thing I want to try out here is this spicy sauce. I mean, it comes in a jug. It's so famous. Ooh, that's nice. It's like a little sweet, but it definitely has this really nice like pep to it. It's going to be good for my hangover. Dax has got a pink drink, I mean. I'm very comfortable with this drink. <laughs> the ultimate sort of like underway the work kind of deal. Yeah. Or the ultimate I'm hungover. I'm not hungover. <laughs> I'm not hungover, you're hungover. You're hungover. You are, you are. <laughs> This is one of the local markets here with some really good specialty dishes only found here. So this is loba. It's a real specialty of this area. It is bits and pieces of the pig. It's delicious, trust me, it all gets chopped up. We'll do that later on. One of the first dishes I'm going to try here is called Mi Pun. Now, I've actually never tried this dish before. It's very particular here to Phuket. It's really nice, kind of like dried noodles. Oh, yum. Got like a dark soy sauce kind of flavor. It's just a really nice, mild, yet comforting kind of noodle dish. It's beautiful. Mm. It came with this soup, so I'm going to try that out. It's nice. Yum. It's a really nice, porky, but like peppery kind of soup. 
I mean, it's a, just a really beautiful, clean, clear broth. And for me, that's simplicity in itself is the beauty of it. So nice. Okay, next up, poppy assot. So, I mean, you would be quite familiar with the fried version of spring rolls, right? But this is a fresh version. This sauce is actually like kind of sweet, yet really spicy. And there's bean shoots, roast pork, and there's a little bit of that lettuce there as well. It's really like fresh through the middle. It's really nice. Mm. Now we're up to the pink things. Hmm. I'm not sure what it is, but it tastes good. <laughs> it's kind of squishy and yet cartilagey all at the same time. I like it. What would you like, Dabs? Actually, you'll like this one. You can do it. <laughs> it's not bad, guys. <laughs> So this is what I mean when I say it's hard to find the southern Thai food when you don't know what you're looking for. I mean, this looks like any other roadside Thai restaurant, but the specialties here are purely southern Thai. Okay, so this is a case in point, right? So the English menu has all the regular Thai dishes, which is cool, that's great, but you don't get the southern Thai recipes till you look at the Thai menu. So, all right, gal, I'm excited. What are we gonna get here? Just a quick little language lesson. So, ahan thai means no, that means dead. <laughs> Sorry. Ahan thai, that means southern Thai. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go with the crab curry. Oh, so good. It's really spicy. You've got that beautiful creamy coconut milk, and the, the spice paste itself is so fragrant. I'm gonna try the gang som next. Has a little bit more of a sour flavor to it. Whoa, that is a spicy one though. Whew. And then you have this beautiful, creamy, typically quite mild soup with a leaf called Bai Liam. So this is the leaf that's in here. It's really lovely and soft and the green vegetable flavor is amazing. And it just kind of like cools your power down a little bit. So it's savory and salty, but really lovely. You can taste the coconut milk, it's really beautiful. I just think it's great to be able to discover the other regions of Thailand, you know, and the other dishes that make Thai food so magic. You guys need to get here with your Google Translate. Get on the menu and order this stuff, it's so good. So around the corner from the Thai place, apparently, is this really cool ice cream place. Right, Gal? Yeah, fried ice cream. Fried ice cream, yes. Look at that. So it's got like this really great like crispy cake batter around the outside of the ice cream. I think that's Milo on top. Let me have a look. Oh yeah. It's like warm but cold. I need to interrupt this ice cream eating break to let you know that my producer says we now must go ATVing. <laughs> because apparently we need an activity that's not food activity. <laughs> All right, let's go. everything from Chinese dishes to breakfast dishes to southern Thai food 
But what we haven't done is actually delved right into dishes that come specifically from Phuket. We've got here nam chup yum. There's like prawns and there'll be shrimp paste in here as well. Then you eat it with the vegetables around the side. This one here is yum prao kua and it's kind of like a spicy tangy salad situation. And you use the beetle leaves here to kind of wrap up little mouthfuls of this delicious stuff. It's supposed to be like a one mouthful kind of thing. It's like an explosion of flavor. Bang, chili, bang. You know, sweetness, and you've got like little shrimps and the pineapple, oh my goodness. Over here, we have gang mool saparot, which is a pork and pineapple curry. This to me is like a really comforting, savory, creamy kind of flavor. And this is probably one of Phuket's most famous dishes. This is called mool hong, and it's a really lovely slow braised pork belly and like soy and spices. So it's kind of like got this sweet, salty kind of flavor. Oh, wow. That pork just melts in your mouth. Oh, it's almost like a soy caramel sauce flavor. So good. Oh, yum. Phuket is obviously a great beach holiday destination, right? But when you actually take the time to get off the beaten track, find those little hidden gems and try the real food of Phuket, the food you can't get elsewhere in Thailand or anywhere else in the world, really, then, you know, that's when it's truly magical. Cue coconut. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. <laughs> I finished it. <laughs>